Hey, Devin. Uh, talk about defensive effort today, especially the first half and then throughout the rest of the game. Uh, I think as a defense, we've just been building, just trying to get better each week. Um, you know, hit hit our. I think we hit our keys today. Um, we talked a lot about the running game, and uh, whenever you got to face a guy like McCoy, and then especially with Josh Allen, what he's been able to do uh, in, in his first career in the NFL, um, I thought we did a good job of coming out and not letting the run game get us, um, and then handling the different shot plays. So it was a good effort from us defensively, uh, and as always, when we get turnovers, you know that helps us out a lot. Steve Burton, I got to ask you about your brother Jason. We're gonna put him on TV in just a second, but uh, how happy are you for him? Finally getting a win, you're the reason why he's here to begin with, and how happy are you for your brother? I'm ecstatic, man. We've been telling him for uh, three weeks now that we're going to try to get him a hat and T-shirt. Um, so I was happy it came through, and then he played great today. You know, interception, forced fumble, uh, down by the end zone, uh, really two key plays that helped us win the game. So uh, he's been a, a, just a consummate pro all year, you know leading the rookies between J.C. and Keon and Duke and helping those guys out, being a, a leader on the field defensively when it comes to communication. Um, everyone can feel just, you know, I think his career, what he's been through, uh, what he's learned. He kind of pours that out on us daily. So uh, it's been a pleasure having him in the locker room. Devin up here. Um, was there any, like, brotherly ribbon going on? I mean, you've kind of been here, done that with the AFC's title. It's his first divisional title. What was that like when that finally kind of came through? No, I mean, I think you guys see it. You know, like, this is, you know, my ninth one. But, you know, you go down to Miami, you got a chance to win a hat and T-shirt, you lose on the last play. You know, you go to Pittsburgh, got a chance to do it, you lose on the last play of the game, really, again. So, um we never take it for granted. Like, it's it's hard to win these division championships. It's hard to win games here in the NFL. So um, as much as I want to make fun of them, you know, we are all a part of the journey this year um, and know how hard it is to go out and win these games. And um, it's, it's just been a lot of fun with this group of guys. Huge eruption in the locker room when the field goal from Philadelphia is made. How important does next week now become? Because now you've moved up to that second seed. Uh, it's good, and you know, I think that's that's a part of it. That's definitely important. But I think this time of the year, just playing good football. Um, you know, we always talk about playing well in December and winning games. And coming off two games we lost, it, we want to put two good games back to back um, and, and see where that takes us. You know, I think Bill told us uh, last week. You know, we come in, it's up to us. You know, how we play determines our future. How many games we have left in our season, we're guaranteed one play well, we'll have another. If we don't, that'll be it. So um, I think guys realize that. And, you know, we know this time of the year, every time we take the field, practice or games, we need to put our best out there if we want to keep playing. Uh, Devin, how important is it to have the two kind of qualities you want to see in playoff football exhibit themselves today, a good defense and a good running attack? Uh, it's huge. Uh, you know, I think the hard thing in the NFL is you got to do it week in and week out. You know, it. It doesn't just carry over if you do it one week, but um, that's the style we want. You know, Bill always talks about a tough team and stopping a run and running the football um, and, and covering kicks. And we did that today. Um, and, and then you add in Jules' big return on punt return. So um, guys are really working their butts off. We're trying to put our best foot forward each week. And it's been starting on Wednesday in practice. And I think we just got to continue that kind of blueprint and, and, and way we've been working uh, for the rest of this year. Devin, once again, we saw a mix of, of that playground defense, as it used to be called, with one down lineman, or in one case, I think, no down lineman. As confusing as it is for the offense, what does it take as a defensive play caller or someone who's one of the quarterbacks of the defense to make sure that everybody's on the same page in that uh, situation? I think it, it comes a lot from us studying and talking, like studying together and then talking about different looks. Like if we get a very vanilla two-by-two two or three-by-one, we're set, but – you know, whether it's someone watching film on their own or watching something in meetings, guys will come by, hey, did you see this play? You know, what do we want to do here? And I think that constant communication in the meeting rooms and the locker room uh, helps us. It helps us prepare for what we might get. Um, and then the things we've seen throughout the season, that experience carries over each week uh, because we know things that have hurt us will keep coming back up, you know, no matter who we play. Uh, De Devin, what kind of performance did you see from J.C. Jackson again today? He had another big play on defense. And did you see the interception that he had? And can you speak on the sort of read he made to sort of drop back and drop into another receiver's uh, throwing lane to make that play? 
Oh, yeah, he has very good ball awareness. Um, I think the, the good thing about JC is he's very athletic, can play the cornerback position very well, covering guys. Um, but it's been cool to see as a rookie him starting to just learn more concepts, football, the defense, um, just covering his guy. And he sees his guy in the flat line. Let me look back at the quarterback, opens up, turns around, makes a great interception. So, um, you know, between him and Keon, I think the experience that they have gotten throughout the year um, in practice and in games, uh, you see them growing. You see them getting better. You see them having a heightened awareness. Um, and it's been pretty cool as an older guy to see.